How many of you have skinned a bear before? Nobody? Close to 40 students watch as a black bear is skinned and butchered. It was killed the night before, and this meat will be used for sausage, a traditional food in their Cree culture. It's coming close, you need to be watching. For the students, it's captivating, something many have never experienced. It's cool how they, they leave the paws there in the head, on the hide. Jason Big Charles is a land-based knowledge educator, teaching the traditional ways to use indigenous foods, like dry meat in the smoker. It was cut thinly by the students and is slowly cooked over a fire. We've slowly been losing that, that sustainability and that uh, food security as we've been colonized and, and westernized. So now we're, we rely on the grocery store. And this is the heart and the tongue. In a nearby tent, harvested meat is then cooked up for lunch and dinner. A shift from the processed foods Clifford Gladue saw dominating the diets of students. I became diabetic. So I wanted to make a change in the community. So that's why I started planning to get rid of processed foods and I wanted to bring in more healthy options for our students. Gladu soon discovered many kids at the schools hadn't had moose meat and traditional foods. Once his elders ate as they lived off the land and didn't rely on the grocery store. That's pretty shocking. To me, like me, right, I never had so much traditional foods when I was younger because I lost that identity, right? And I wanted to, I didn't want the students to lose that. His solution includes taking meat killed by indigenous hunters and getting it into schools and having it prepared in traditional ways for students at least once a month. It took a lot of effort for Gladue to get the traditional foods piled up and running for the past two years. Prior to that, there was nine months of consulting, which included elders, provincial and federal dietitians, environment safety officers, and even fish and wildlife. It's not as simple as a hunter shooting an animal and just bringing it into the school. It needs to be hunted on traditional lands. Hunters and cooks need to fill out forms. Meats need to be bagged and labeled. All the paperwork is sent to Indigenous Services Canada to be logged. Gladue even learned how to inspect the meat so that samples aren't needed. Students have a say in, in what they want. You know. Jaleel Whitehead is the junior chief of Little Buffalo School, around 450 kilometers northwest of Edmonton. He appreciates the efforts to get students eating foods like moose meat, as he considers it comforting. You acknowledge the fact that our ancestors used to live off this food, so it's just that much better, you know. Gladu is proud of the work he and others have done to get to this point, but it may also benefit other First Nations students as well. I'm kind of speechless, like, because we, we are leading the way to bring all this back. It's been tough to get the program started. But Gladu says it's been worth it when he sees students connecting over traditional food just as their elders did before them. Travis McEwen, CBC News, near Little Buffalo.